Ben, Samil, and Mora inside. The 85th chapter between Wake Forest and North Carolina. She took a nice shot. She likes to shoot the three. This Wake Forest team, they like to let it fly. I mean, they have shot a ton of threes. So look for that this afternoon. And right there, we see UNC us be getting on the board early. This is an interesting dynamic to be so young, and they have been successful so far this season. Coach Banghart has said she feels they're a little ahead of schedule, frankly, where she expected to be. And the Deacons on the board, Christina Mora. Tar Heels with an early 7-2 lead. Oh, nice little uh, give and go, and Todd Williams lays it in. There's her first layup of the night. This evening for UNC. Understand the comparison as Todd Williams stumbles. Not looking like Scotty there. <laughs> you watched the Vanderbilt-Kentucky game the other night. You actually saw a little Scotty Pippen <laughs> do his thing against the Wildcats. <laughs> Nia Becker knocks it down from the free throw line has the two Tar Heel assists <laughs> in the first five minutes tonight. Little wow. with a runner. Nice play by Littlefield. Here's Kelly. Three on three in transition. Kelly takes it, makes it. And that was a good decision by Kelly. No one stepped up to guard her to stop her, and she knocks it down. That was a great job by Poole. She wasn't able to gather that first rebound, but defended well in a nice shot right there by Kelly. Seemingly like she's getting it going. Lengthy drought. Can the Deacons snap it? Alyssa Andrews steps inside the line. On the offensive glass, Hines lays it in. Great job by Hines. Nice finish. Way to end the quarter with a nice score. And I think that's the game that everybody's been waiting for the sophomore to have for Louisville. So she's a tremendous competitor, tremendous player, and you're just seeing it what we saw it this evening against Clemson. Right. I think she said she was focusing too much, and here's another opportunity to get her third layup of this game. Nice job <laughs> cutting the lanes and I mean, when you look at it, your leading scorer goes over. It does not score the entire game, and you're in it. Second chance bucket for Christina Mora. She's got a chance for a three-point play. You see Wake Forest playing this 2-3 zone, really moving. Aspi knocks down the zone-busting triple. <laughs> and that's not enough. That's not enough, and that's shocking, especially knowing the number of times she shoots it. Great Good inside pass. pass and great finish. Three ball, Elise Williams knocks it in. And that was great ball reversal, great ball movement to give Williams a good looking open shot for three. UNC was playing aggressive defense, confusing like it was a matchup zone. Answer at the other end. To collect and give UNC another opportunity on the offensive end and nice inside pass to Poole and Poole with the finish. That three was, not to say she can't hit that shot, but that is far out. Oh, goodness, go. what an unbelievable pass. <laughs> head to us, be Kennedy Todd Williams with a... On the turnovers they're creating, a great pass, one-handed baseball pass by Todd Williams that just splits two Wake Forest defenders, and Usby is able to finish. And just look at that. I mean, how do you miss that pass? But it's beautiful right there right perfectly yeah, now that might be scotty pippen like that was a great pass that was unbelievable and then another, another dish one. ahead osby lays it in for the second straight time and jen hoover has seen enough it was nice hustle to collect and get that basketball playing with two fouls and then spears dish to mora better defense though inside lake forest was three for 17 in the first quarter. They're three for 11 in the second quarter, and that's the eighth turnover of the period. Nice move inside, but Hines unable to finish. Looking ahead, it's Eva Hodgson from the corner, knocking it down. And that was a nice pass. I definitely think so, because if they can cut it to that, I mean, look at the deficit they were facing at halftime. 40 to 15. And there's, what a difference. There's there you go. Scruggs with a strong take. Right now, UNC looks really unsure about what to do in their offense. Ty Williams pass deflected. It finds Hodgson. She's open, and she swished it. What a big shot for Eva Hodgson. I guess rhythm or how they like to shoot free throws, what works and what allows them to put themselves in a good position and knock them down. Oh, what a pass. Hodgson to Usby. And the Tar Heels reclaim momentum. 
Courtney Benghart was singing the praises of Destiny Adams and her toughness earlier today, and she gets the payoff. Hoping this week can turn things around. They host Miami, an early noon start on Sunday. Inside on your pool, count the bucket, and one. Great post position, and Adams. Under seven minutes here in the fourth. That's a good pass and a nice finish. Williams to Hines. For her effort with that pass and a nice finish. Corner three would not go for Todd Williams. And then that's the cardinal sin. It was a right. four on O situation. 9-2 run in this fourth quarter. 14-2 dating back to the end of the third. Jewel Spear finally nets one from deep. And for Carolina, look, this is what they were looking for. They came out, they threw a convincing haymaker early, and they finished it late with some big buckets. Spear has 10. Samiel still looking for her first points of the night. And that three is good for Jewel Spear. Basketball, eliminating our touches. Deja Kelly trying to answer. Rebound for Harrison. Up ahead, Williams. And one. None of those places are fun places to play, especially in this climate. But that's why these home games are so important. Wow, Adams taking it strong to the basket. Harrison with a nice take. That was a nice take. And a ways to go before she matches Kylie's presence on both ends of the floor. <laughs> There's a three for Reagan Conley. Carolina held a 40 to 15 lead at halftime. And Wake Forest never seriously threatened the Tar Heels. Courtney Banghart picks up her 300th career victory.